Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to explain you channel length modulation in MOSFET. Before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I am going to cover in this video. So first, I will be discussing about basics of channel length modulation. After that, I will be explaining you how working is there with channel length modulation in MOSFET. Then, I will be explaining you IV characteristics of MOSFET along with channel length modulation. And at last, I will derive drain current equation along with channel length modulation in MOSFET. So, let us start this video with first point that is basics of channel length modulation in MOSFET. You should know, see this channel length modulation that happens under saturation region of MOSFET. So, when MOSFET is there under saturation region, at that time there is channel length modulation. See, channel length modulation that will happen in saturation region and in that channel length will change with respect to drain VDS voltage of MOSFET. So, as you increase VDS voltage, there will be decrease in length of channel and that will happen under saturation region of MOSFET. So, channel length will decrease with respect to increase in drain voltage in saturation region. Let me show you how it will happen along with working. So, that will give you more clarity. So, here first you need to understand basic biasing of MOSFET, right. So, here you can observe with gate we are applying VGS, we are applying VGS that is greater than VTO. So, as if VGS is greater than VTO, there will be formation of channel, there will be formation of channel that is also referred as inversion layer over here, right. Now, as if we apply VDS voltage by smaller value, see here drain voltage VDS, let us assume VDS that is small. So, what will happen? As this VDS is small, here thickness of channel at drain terminal that will be lower and here thickness of channel that will be higher over here, right. And because of this VDS voltage, ID current that will flow at drain terminal, right. Now, see this is what linear region that you can say where as you increase VDS, ID current will increase linearly. But here, as if you increase this VDS beyond some value, then what will happen? Then this MOSFET that will come under saturation. So, you see here, as if you increase VDS voltage to saturation, then here this channel, now that will become point over here at the side of drain. So, you can observe here, we are having channel that is like a point over here, right? That is like a point over here by black color. By black color, initially channel thickness was bit more, but as you increase VDS, now we are making this VDS to saturation voltage. Then here channel thickness becomes point, and that point is referred as pitch of point. Right. Now, what is the value of this saturation voltage? See, this value of saturation voltage VDS that will be. VGS minus VTO, VGS minus VTO or you can say VTH, right, VTH or VTO that is threshold voltage, right. So, here see this channel formation, this inversion layer formation that is happening because of how much voltage? That is happening because of gate voltage and as if this gate voltage is higher than threshold voltage, then because of that difference only channel formation is happening. So, here this channel that is getting formed because of how much additional voltage? VGS minus VTO, right. Now, as if you apply drain to source voltage which is VGS minus VTH, then here that channel will be point over here at the side of drain terminal. And as channel is just point over here at the side of drain terminal, that point is referred as pitch of point and this is what saturation voltage at drain to source terminal that you can say right. Now, if you further increase this VDS voltage then what will happen? 
then you can observe here this pitch of point now that is getting shifted over here and length of channel that is getting decreased by value of delta l right this value of length that is getting decreased by delta l so here as if this vds voltage as if this vds voltage if it is greater than vd set means it should be greater than vgs minus vth right it should be greater than vt vgs minus vth if it is the case then length of channel that is getting decreased so higher the value of vds lower the lower the length of channel now here there are a few essential things that you need to understand see as if i talk about voltage let me write that vds that is greater than vgs minus vth right now how much vds that we apply here so you see vds that is if i say this is saturation so vgs minus vth and additional overhead voltage let us say that is delta v so this delta v this delta v that is getting dropped in this region which is having length delta l and this region this region of length delta l that is called as pitch of region so in this pitch of region there is no channel and as there is no channel this additional voltage that is getting dropped right and this additional voltage that is overhead voltage that you can see let me note it down see this additional voltage this additional delta v voltage that is overhead overhead voltage right this is overhead voltage so here here in this region delta v voltage that is getting dropped right and because of this delta v voltage in this pitch of region there is drift current see previously when we were been discussing about working of mosfet at that time we were not been considering those values in terms of drift current but now we will be taking that consideration even as if you apply overhead voltage overhead means the voltage which is higher than saturation voltage then that voltage that additional voltage will be getting dropped in pitch of region that will result that will be resulting into additional drift current so that additional drift current that we need to take into the consideration when we talk about characteristic right so in my last two videos i have explained you working of mosfet and characteristics of mosfet in that i have explained like characteristics of mosfet as per id with respect to vds that is happening like this where this is the point this is the point where we have saturation voltage and if you increase vds voltage further then id current that is getting saturated means it will stay constant right after this you will be having saturation right that is what i was saying like id current will be constant but we were not been discussing about current due to drift current which is happening due to this additional delta v overhead voltage so here you will be observing here you will be observing that there will be some current there will be some current that will be happening that will be happening right so this is id current and that is with channel length modulation in short i am writing clm and this is this is id current that is without without channel length modulation right now question is how to identify this id current with channel length modulation so that is what the case that now i am going to derive over here right let me explain you how to have it so here so here see in last video i have explained you how we we are having id current so let me write the equation without channel length modulation so id current id current without channel length modulation clm so that i have derived right that is id is equals to mu into cox dash into w by l into 
VGS minus VTH square divided by 2 and this is what we are talking about for saturation region. This is what we are talking about for saturation region, right. And see, this is without channel and modulation, right. Now, with channel and modulation, what will happen? So, with channel and modulation, this length L that will change. Now, length will become how much? You see, now length will become L dash. Previously, it was L, but now length is L dash. So, so now we need to understand like how we can place that L dash over here instead of L, right? So, instead of L, now with channel and modulation, you need to have L dash. So, let me rewrite this equation, right? So, ID current, ID current with channel length modulation. So, in that, this ID that will be having same equation, right? Only this L, now that will become L dash. And now, we need to identify this equation in simplified form. So, what is L dash? Let me elaborate what is L dash, right? So, here you see this L dash, this L dash that is L minus delta L. This L dash is L minus delta L. So, let us try to understand this L dash. So, L dash that is L minus delta L, right? Now, if you take L common, then L into 1 minus delta L by L, right? Now, here you see delta L by L that we have, right. Now, if you observe here, I have told you, see, this delta L by L that depends on what? VDS. So, as you increase VDS, delta L by L will increase. If you decrease VDS, delta L by L will decrease. You see, if you increase VDS, this length will decrease, but delta L will increase. And if you decrease VDS, delta L by L will decrease. So, here you can say, so here you can say that delta L by L that is proportional to VDS, right. And this proportionality constant, let us say that is lambda, right. So, delta L by L is lambda VDS. So, let us substitute that over here. So, L dash, now that equation becomes L into 1 minus lambda V D S. Right. Now, this L dash that I am going to substitute in this I D current. So, now what will happen? I D, now that will be mu C O X dash into W by L into 1 minus lambda V D S. Right. Into Vgs minus into Vgs minus Vth square divided by 2. Now, see this lambda Vds, that value is small. So, as if 1 minus something small that is there with you, then if you take it to numerator, that minus will get to plus, right? Like if you have uh, 0 0.99 and if you want to take it to numerator right so it will become how much 1.01 .01. so that is how as if this value is small and if it is there in denominator you can take it into numerator by changing the polarity over here right so let me rewrite this see this is id that is equals to mu c o x dash into w by l into v g s minus Vth square by 2. This is what ID current normal equation into additional term that we are adding that is 1 plus lambda Vds, right? 1 plus lambda Vds. See, this is additional term and that is what we are adding along with channel length modulation, right? So, you need to understand this. The additional current that we are adding that is lambda Vds 1 plus lambda Vds, right? 1 into this that we have already studied. Another additional thing that we are adding that is what? 1 plus lambda Vds inside ID current when we talk about channel length modulation, right? And by using this formula, we will be solving some questions even. And in characteristics, 
you can observe here how characteristic is getting changed right so this additional thing that is getting added because of lambda vds remember this right i hope you have understood this still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video